Fort Simpson, well, it's located where the Mackenzie and the Fouillard River meet. It's also known as Cliliquin in the Slavey language, which means home of the two rivers. What's nice about the Visitor Information Centre, a good place to stop. Not only do you get a lot of information on uh, different activities that you can do, it's a great place to come to. You get to see a bit of the, the cultural history, um, as well as um, we do have uh, old artifacts. I can definitely show you around Fort Simpson, so let's go. Where we're coming to establish is the McPherson House. And the McPherson House is one of the oldest houses in Fort Simpson. It was actually built in 1936. We're quite fortunate to have bumped into two of um, the local people and the children of George McPherson and a couple of people that actually lived in uh, the house that we're about to see and visit. This area is a root cellar and how many times I fell down there. <laughs> this was always full of hot water. That's where we got our hot water from. Our youngest sister, she carved her initials up there. She's 55 now. This chair is the original chair from our grandfather. If you want to use the washroom and have a comfortable seat, you gotta check this out. <laughs> Just put a bucket underneath and you're good to go. <laughs> it's a chair, it's a toilet, it's whatever you want it to be. The people are very friendly, they're very helpful, and if they were to come to the, to the Visitor Information Center, they uh, have, will have some great service, but they'll also meet a lot of um, local people. They can go to some of the local stores and maybe they bump into someone, ask them questions. Most people are very welcoming and are always willing to answer any questions that they may have.